I'm going to say Ruju coffee is a very nice and amazing course to study. Once you have that passion, oh, I want to do this, yeah. But naturally, a lot of people don't even come in for the passion. Like I told you, it's not like I'm coming in to treat someone. I came in because they said there's a lot of money in this, yeah. Someone says, oh, you're a radiologist. I'm like, nah, I can't be. You know why? Because a radiologist. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button. In today's video, we'll be talking about studying radiography in Nigeria. And guys, I'm with a special guest here with me today. He's a student radiographer and a YouTuber. I can show you that this video is going to be educative and entertaining as well. So let's get into this video. I'm wearing this this t-shirt, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, we've not met in person yeah, before. This is actually before. first yeah. time. And then he reached out to me, like, okay, we're going to do this video together. Mm, like, yeah. I, I actually had to go into what you want me to do with okay. you, and it sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, it's something I can do, and mm -hmm. it's so interesting. So, guys, you guys should go follow him up, Studentship. Yeah, See? it's on all the platforms. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, yeah. TikTok. Yes. For my TikTok baby. <laughs> Go follow him up on TikTok, okay? And guys, also remember to follow her on our YouTube channel. A Walk with ADA. Yeah, so guys, let's go into the video. <laughs> so the first question I want to ask you is, why did you decide to study medical radiography? <laughs> Actually, what, 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 is it a funny question? Yeah, no, it's not. It's not funny, but I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. The whole thing <laughs> was it what they gave you? <laughs> not like what they gave me. The whole thing was just somehow I didn't. I did not want to do what was. I'm very weird. Very weird. I don't want to do something that everybody is doing because when I was in secondary school, it's either you're doing medicine or you're doing nursing or you want to do pharmacy. So engineering, I didn't want to do anything like that. I just, I don't know why. So yeah, going back, and then I met, I was in the library preparing for my jam, and I met these guys. Okay. I've already decided because I asked my cousin at that time. She was in, you no, know, she just graduated. And I asked her, what else am I going to do? There's no nursing, there's no medicine, medicine, you know. And then she said, well, how about you try medical radiography? Wow. And he just stuck in my head. Mm. Medical radiography, yeah. like, yes, medical radiography. Yeah, so, yeah, I met these guys in the library and they're like, yeah, they are also opting for medical radiography. I barely know anything about it. And then they say, do you know that if you study medical radiography, you have to work less hours and then you have so much money? I'm like, <laughs> like a clean job. Tell me about that money part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like money. I like money. That's young, you want to make money. I'm telling you, I just want to ask something that will, that will give me family time because I'm this kind of person that likes family. Yeah. So give me family time and also give me money. Okay. So when I learned that, that I, there is a health job that you can do that can give you that, I was so excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm going in for this. So, so what is medical radiography all about? Okay, I'm going to define it in two ways. Medical radiography is simply internal imaging. Okay. Okay, we say that we are eye of medicine and it's actually true because there is nothing that you can do without, you know, without consulting us. We work in synergy with other departments, you know, in, in the, the yeah, in the health sector. So medical radiography uses ionizing radiation mm -hmm. to either diagnose that or for diagnosis and therapeutic reasons. Okay. When I say diagnosis, to find out what's happening and therapeutic reasons to true it. Okay. So you can either use this radiating and you know ionizing ionizing radiation to either true it or to find out the cause of someone's problem. Okay. So that's it. Uh, when, I, when I hear radiography, like personally, I start thinking about physics, mathematics, and there are some 
science students who want to do something that is not like mathematical inclined, maybe not engineering. And now coming to radiography, is this something that has to do with a lot of physics calculations and stuff? Hey. Okay, radiography is actually a five-year course okay. in Nigeria, so um, you have to do, you will actually have to do math okay. in your first year, you have to do the simple mathematics and also the further maths. Okay. And one of the criteria or prerequisites for you to enter into this course, you should have at least a C for your YEC yeah, before you can, yeah. So that's the only time you have to do math. Okay. All right, but then physics is something that is part of us. Oh. It's something that you just have to know that you do it. Kind of like a medical physics. Yeah, medical physics. But it's not really, you know, draining like the normal physics you do in secondary school. So can an average student in physics study medical education? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. An average student in, in physics can actually do medical radiography. And it's no it's no big deal, trust me. Once you have that passion, oh I want to do this, yeah. But usually, a lot of people don't even come in for the passion. Like I told you, it's not like I'm coming in to treat someone. I came in because they said there's a lot of money in this, yeah. And, and now you're in the uh, profession as a student. Like, yeah. is there money in it? Yeah, there's actually tons of it. Okay. But then I'm getting another, I'm seeing it from another perspective now. I'm responsible for someone's life. So it makes more sense. Besides the money, you actually are also contributing to yeah. someone's well-being. Uh, well Thank you for that. Okay. So, so like, what's the difference between radiography and radiology? Because these two terms uh, seem to be confusing. Yeah, they're always conflicting. Someone says, oh, you're a radiologist. I'm like, nah, I can't be. Okay. You know why? Because a radiologist is a medical doctor who specializes in radiography. Right. Whereas a radiographer is someone who studied medical radiography and has graduated okay. and is working in the hospital like a medical radiographer. Okay. So looking at the career prospects, apart from working in the hospital, what other opportunities are available for radiographers? Honestly, I've not even thought about that, but I think there are other things, you know, administrative works, mm -hmm. being a lecturer, you know, yeah, research. Have, yeah, you can also do that kind of things. But, you know, in my head, just working in the hospital okay. for me. But then there are other things. You can be a lecturer, you can just go into research, you can you know, administrative works. You mentioned about two aspects of radiography. What were they? Okay, you mean the therapeutic yeah. and the diagnosis? Yeah, yeah. So it involves a lot of like rays, uh, light rays and stuff like that. <laughs> Dangerous stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you guys a story. Okay. You know, when I said I was going to do medical radiography, mm -hmm. some people who were enlightened enough in my society, they're like, tell my mom, no, your daughter can do that. All the ovaries in her womb are going to be born out. Riz, you know, radiations are going to be born out everything. She won't even have a key. And my mom was scared. Mm -hmm. My mom's like, are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, yeah. This is, oh, your, your picking go go, you know, go born. <laughs> <laughs> they drop everything. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then I'm like, no, I had to meet another person so who explained it well okay. for me. Actually, you use um, the, the protective measures they use in the hospital to make sure that this doesn't happen. Okay. And also, you have the TLDs, the, you know, that, that instruments you use to check the dosage of radiation someone has. I'm walking, there's always a scatter radiation, okay. all right? Even, as, even if you try preventing it, protecting yourself and the public, there's always this percentage of radiation that will get to you at the end of the day because you stay in the hospital, you work with these things every day. So these equipment, like tell this, they use it to measure the amount of dosage that you have. So if it gets to a particular threshold, you are asked to leave work. 
Okay. Yeah. So is it like you lose your job for that? No, no, no. Like leave or something. Okay, leave. Okay. Yeah. So like for the like for female students who want to study radiography. I'm actually a female student. Yeah, so yeah, you should come in. Okay. We love you. <laughs> so in terms of maybe you get married, you get you are, they are pregnant. Would you be allowed to work? As a radiographer? Yes, I pray. I, I've been in the hospital for you know for my postings, and I yeah. see my chiefs there. They're pregnant and they're working. I'm like yo, but it gets to this particular time of their trimester when they're asked not to work again. Okay. You just go on maternity leave. Okay. So are uh, you in final year, right? Yes, I'm in final. So from your first year to this point, what has been the most challenging experience? You know, studying radiography. Oh, I, I would say my my biggest, you know, it was in my in my second year okay. because I just moved from NSK from Unsuka campus to this main campus, so everything was just too much for me. The college courses that you have to do, the anatomy, the physiology, you have a lot of reading to be doing at that point. You're trying to balance your life. Uh, you're, yeah, you're trying to get used to the environment and everything. As, I'm not going to lie to you, at a point, I have friends, but I felt like I was alone. I was almost almost approaching, you know, depression, but it didn't happen. But it was just too much for me. Okay. So what about a uh, memorable experience, like something memorable? Okay, I have a lot of, you know, memorable experiences. Yeah. In my first year, I met my friends, my cool friends. I'm a, I'm a Chesuaka, Meso, Keru, Eke Steven, um, Sunday, Sumi, all these guys. Some of all the guys are called that all engineering students, while last the girls that are in my course that are actually my course mates. So we create a lot of memories in what we're reading, you know. Trying to. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it just reading? <laughs> we read, we prayed together, okay. we went out together, we did a lot of sleepovers together. Okay. It was just so fun. That was my first year. Okay. I think my first year was my was when I had the most fun. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, exciting moments because right now we basically we're just reading, <laughs> reading trying to be better human beings you know okay. you're trying to find definition for yourself besides being in radiography besides being a medical student okay. there is something you want to create a niche for yourself you just want to discover yourself all right so that's everybody's trying to like discover themselves yeah. Yeah. so obviously medical radiography is a lucrative course to study very very i must tell you okay so as a student mm -hmm. apart from you know your studies is it possible like to delve into other area of interest i mean there is nothing in this world that you cannot do if you plan well okay. you can create room for anything okay yeah so for me i'm a medical um, student and I'm also a youtuber okay. and I know my friends who are into businesses they're entrepreneurs and they're wonderful they're doing well <laughs> I sold shirts I, I sold coffee I did a lot of things I was doing delivery uh, oh well, we guys get the money you know and at some point you know that you want to reduce financial stress from your family yeah. and from your sponsors you just don't want to be asking all the time mm -hmm. I mean, the country is so hard. A lot of people are uh, thinking of traveling outside the country, or I mean, but if we have good, if we have a good place where we can invest and actually get the rewards while travel out, maybe you want to travel out for vacations or all that, not to live there. For greener pastures. Yeah, not to live there yeah. because where you are at is very good. But do you have plans to travel out, like to work? To work? Yes. If you, if you get the opportunity. If Nigeria becomes better, I don't see any reason why I should leave. What if you get like a better opportunity out? If I get a better opportunity out, remember I said something about family time and all that. Okay. If my family won't believe in with me there, I wouldn't go for the job. Okay. Yeah. I want you to describe the typical day of a radiography student in the university. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something, but okay. 
Mm. I'm just going to be straightforward with you guys. I just want to be so straightforward. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to lie about anything. If you are in school, for me, there are preferences. I'm this kind of person that I would want to be in the school environment. So that is why I stay in the school hostel. It avails me time to you know the proximity between my classes and my where I live. It's not just too far away. But if I'm this kind of person to stay in the lodge, like outside the school, I'm too lazy to come around. Because okay. you'll be doing a lot of walking. So you wake up in the morning. It's almost lectures and then going to classes for your lectures from there. Mm -hmm. You have these schedules for lectures and this where you go to the hospital. Okay. So for for someone who is in second year, you don't start your hospital posting mm -hmm. or practices when you are in second year. You actually start when you are in third year okay. because by that time you must have um, been grounded theoretically. Okay. Yeah. So basically, just from class to lecture hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from your hostel to lecture hall, from lecture hall to your hostel. That it repeat. It, it it just goes back. It just goes back. And if you're not careful, you're not going to have a social life. Okay. You're just going to be trapped inside school if you do not plan. So do you have a social life as a radiography student? I don't know if I if I can <laughs> say that I have a social life. I'm not really a social life. Do you get okay. there are a lot of people who party and you know, all that I do I do not party. Okay. But that doesn't mean another person cannot. Right? So this is all about preferences. Preference, yeah. yeah. And what will work for you. So like you go for nine classes or you read in the day, what's your you know already? <laughs> <laughs> I stopped nine class after my first year. Why did you stop nine class? Because I, I saw that it made me not to be so productive during the day. And um, it's good to know what works for you. I told you before that in when we crossed over life from my second year, me and my friends, we tried to discover ourselves what works well or what works better for, better for any of us, all right? So we just found out that this night class can actually stay in your hostel and read. And for me, I do not like mosquitoes. They distract me a lot. So I cannot stay where I'm exposed to mosquitoes. I cannot concentrate and I will not achieve anything. So the night class stuff is just scraped out for me. Script, script, script. So yeah, I think that depends on personal preference. Yeah. Some to some people night class is just the in thing and it works very well for them. So when I said it's preference and based on individuals, okay. yeah, it's individualized. Okay. Thank you. So uh, lastly, uh, what word of advice do you have for students that want to study videography in a university? Like a student who is watching this video right now. Okay, I'm going to say radiography is a very nice and amazing course to study. In fact, there is no course that is not amazing. But you get better chances because you don't have to go around looking for jobs because it's in the health sector. You know what they say, health is wealth? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you get a point. Yes, yes. So it, you will have to, you will not, you know, run around, yeah. so, especially when you know what you are doing. Yeah. yeah, you have to be good at your craft. Mm. I think the profession is not saturated like other health care professions. That's what I used to think before, but that's not true. That's not true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that will be a rough pop. Yeah, so make sure you like this video. Yes, studentship, that's the name on yeah. on every platform. Yes, yes, on every platform. So check us out on every platform. Hi. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Like, subscribe, tell us how you feel about this interview. Just tell us what you want. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us how you <laughs> see this thing. Because and, and if I mention you have any question, you can let us know in the yeah, comments. Yeah, just let us know and we will we'll do well to answer you. Yeah. So guys, bye. See you. Yeah. I I'm living for his every I'm on fire every day. And nothing can stop me. It doesn't matter what I think.
I am getting bigger every day. Okay, so guys, I finished the interview with studentship and I thought, okay, I should return this t-shirt. And then he says, no, it's for you. I'm like, you say? <laughs> so guys, I got myself a free t-shirt for studentship. Y'all should go look for him on all the social media platforms. Go to YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and like, share with your friends. Okay, studentship. I love you. Free, free t-shirt for me.